Oh man, you guys, okay, here it goes. I'm gonna share with you guys my first day as a missionary. I am beyond excited. It's gonna be great. Man, is this crazy or what? Well, we got back a couple hours ago from me getting set apart as a missionary. So I am now, as you can see, it says the I am Sister Bennett of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So I'm now a missionary for our Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And I can't believe this is real. It's crazy because I've talked to a bunch of people about this because they're all like, oh, are you nervous? Are you scared? Like, are you excited? First of all, I always say all of the above. I am everything. I think I didn't actually start getting nervous until today. I had a breakdown with my mom. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but I was just so overwhelmed with joy. I was so excited. And I think I kind of just got in my head and I was like, oh, wait, this is actually happening. Oh, wait, like, blah, 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 blah. I think I just freaked myself out and just made myself super anxious, but I can't believe it. I'm actually a missionary right now, but I was talking to other people. I was like, you know, this is such a surreal moment. I think that's a word, but because it's something we've grown up learning about whether or not they taught us like, oh, you have to serve a mission or like anything like that. It was more like just something we always grew up learning. There was a song that we always listened to or we always sang in primary and it was, I hope they call me on a mission and it says like, I hope they call me on a mission when I have grown a foot or two. I hope one day I can be ready to teach and preach the work as missionaries do. Just from when we were so young and little, we kind of just looked at this as like this great, amazing opportunity. We get to go and serve the Lord and take this time away from what teenagers would usually be doing, college, maybe getting married. I am a missionary for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and I wouldn't want to be doing anything else with my life right now. I'm very excited and I need to be going to bed. Let me be real with you. Um, I have a schedule that the MTC sent out to me for Home MTC and we have a class today at 10 a.m. which is actually at about an hour and a half. I woke up at 6.30, you guys saw, I did my scripture study for about 45 minutes. I went downstairs to try and work out, and that didn't work at all. And so I did a bunch of my Edify classes, which is another app. I am really, really tired right now. It is currently 8.43 in the morning. I'm really tired because I didn't get any sleep last night. I went to bed at about 10, which, by the way, is, like, really amazing. But I was so exhausted, like, just spiritually, like, oh, my goodness, because it was such a full, amazing day. I had my farewell talk, and then people came over, and I just was so happy and so smiling and so spiritually, like, filled. And then I went, and I had my setting apart, which took a couple hours. I woke up at 5.11, and then I woke up at 6.20 when I set my alarm for, so. I finished everything that I was doing. I want to say 8, and I said, okay, I'm going to just lay in bed for 15 minutes. I did scripture study. <coughs> I did all these things. I'm going to give myself just 15 minutes, and I'll go eat breakfast. I'll go, like, get more ready for the day. 8.15 came around. I could not open my eyes. I was like, and back to bed. 8.30 ran around, and I was like, okay, I'll just switch over, and I'll just, like, close my eyes sometimes, but I'll just, like, be looking, like, at the ceiling and just rest myself. It is currently 8.45. My mom came in to, like, close the blinds as it was getting hot, but she made breakfast, so we're gonna go eat, and I'm gonna share with you guys my first day as a missionary. I am beyond excited. It's gonna be great. Here we go. Actually, first we're gonna make our bed. So we're gonna start learning some good habits, and I'm gonna try to learn to stick to them, so. I have a class in the next 20 or so minutes. I mean, this is the MTC, but right now I'm doing only online MTC. I still have to wear church appropriate clothes. So we're gonna go get dressed. We're gonna go get ready, make myself look good and ready for this. And we're gonna start. I've been reading this really awesome book called The Divine Gift of Forgiveness. So it's been really cool. I found a ton of different information. It's scripture study. It's been fantastic. I'm really excited to kick this off even more, I guess. And meet my district. That was weird. Meet my district, so let's go get ready. Everyone else. I feel so awkward. 
like water or something and I'm gonna write down all my feelings and things. I'll be right back. Oh, someone sent me flowers. Oasis sister, who got these for me? Did you guys get these for me? Open me, open me, open me. How do I open you? Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I shouldn't be crying. I'm literally gonna have class in like five minutes. It's from President and Sister Wilcox. Pull it out. Let's That's see. so cute. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? <laughs> it's from back. All right, I'll put it in the vase. You go oh. grab a snack before you have oh, class again. That is the sweetest thing ever. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I am so happy. Our instructor, Irma... Costa, I think is her name. Oh my goodness, I forgot. Anyways, we're in the district right now. She's actually trying to find the rest of our district because some of our elders and sisters are in another class and they're supposed to be in this one with us. And then some of the ones that came on here, I think like three or four of them are actually in a different district. So it's super messed up. I'm currently right now in a district with four elders and then me. That's not like how it is supposed to be. That's just like who's in here right now. They're all so great. We got to meet everybody and kind of talk to each other. Almost all of us, I think except for one person. I didn't actually ask them, but we're all like the oldest of a couple siblings. We're all like laughing, like joking about like, oh, we're the guinea pigs, but it's good. We like it. And I got to know them. And then she gave us a 10 minute break as she's trying to find the rest of our her district to write down my thoughts and feelings. So I decided to go get a snack really fast. I opened those really cute flowers that made me cry. I was like holding back the tears so that I wasn't like red and puffy when I came back on. They're like, um, what's wrong? It was only 10 minutes. But now I'm going to write out kind of my thoughts and feelings from this first day and what we've done. And all I can say is I have great things for this. This is amazing. It's, it's hard work, of course, but it's so much fun. We had our classes and stuff and I wanted to like open because I know some Portuguese and I wanted to open my Book of Mormon. This is what um, Reese gave me, but I wanted to open my Book of Mormon and read it while someone was reading it so I could read it in Portuguese and try to translate it so I could practice. And then she called on me and I didn't have my English one out at all and I was like, uh, give me a second and I was muted too. So I forgot that I was muted so I was like talking to myself basically and they're like, what? And then I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize I was muted. And then I pulled it up on my English version, but I was able to figure out some of these words. I also wrote down a bunch of words and I'm also conducting tomorrow. So it's a great start. But we're gonna go get some food and go see my family. Ciao, ciao. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna go to bed for the next hour. Just kidding. Um, that was great. I just finished my last class. We did a lot more Portuguese in this class and learning pronunciations of the alphabet. It was pretty good. So because of the time difference, that class is supposed to be from 6 to 9, but it's currently 6 p.m. I would technically be starting it now, so I have a lot of time for studying and preparing, maybe showering or helping my mom with some stuff as well, cleaning and uh, getting ready for bed. I think I'm gonna go to bed earlier tonight. We're gonna go to bed at like 9.30. We're gonna make that happen because I was so tired in the middle of the day. And yeah, am I allowed to change? Okay guys, I just had the weirdest feeling to just go and check the mail, you know? I just received my last Apostle documents that I have been waiting for so that I can get my visa. And it finally came, which means there's the slightest chance and hope that I will possibly be able to make it to Brazil, at least by the end of the six weeks. So maybe I'll get the Provo, I know that I'm going to Provo MTC in three weeks, but maybe I'll get the Provo MTC and I'll get the Brazil MTC. How cool would that be, Mom? I get the best of both worlds. Okay guys, we just, I just finished doing some of my Portuguese um, learning for a little bit. We're gonna play a game for like 30 minutes or I don't really know how long this takes. And then I'm going to be getting ready for bed. So playing phase 10 against my sisters and my mom.
Okay, we just finished. It is currently 9.13 and I am going to get changed. I've been wearing this all day and I think that it's definitely passed the comfort test. I don't know if I told you guys this. Today's been a long day so I don't really remember much of the things that I have said already. But I'm going to be wearing every single one, well, almost every single one of my like dresses at least. Because I know that skirts and my shirts should be pretty comfortable. But I'm going to test out all my dresses and make sure they are appropriate and good for Brazil, where it will be very hot. Well, not the whole time, but pretty hot in the summers. I loved every single part of the day. But this is definitely one of my favorite parts of the day because I get to get ready for bed. I get to do some scripture studying, some, maybe some practicing just for tomorrow so I am prepared. And I'm gonna go to bed. It is 9.14. Never would have thought in my life that I'd be going to bed this early. But honestly, it feels so good. Anyways, that's enough chit chat from me. We're gonna get ready for bed. which might not be the best thing because it's probably because I took a nap earlier today, multiple naps, and I also ate a lot of candy. <laughs> I'm gonna do just a little bit of scripture study, just review some of my words, and then we are going to head to bed because I wanna get to bed at least before 10. I said 9.30, but it is 9.33. I already wrote a bunch in my notebook, or in my journal. Let's see how many pages. Three pages already. We're gonna write some more. Bed. Um, I will take my tag off, I promise. Don't worry. But I'm gonna head to bed. It's 9.45 and here's the first day. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later.